So the other day I got to learn about a library called as Media Pipe Hands and basically it is a library that allows us to sort of track our hand and also add skeleton overlay and also make apps based out of it. For, for example, let's say you want to do something when a person pinches the hand in front of the camera or do something as such, we can actually use the Media Pipe Hands library for the same. And then I thought maybe we could go ahead and wipe code and build something interesting. I'm not sure should I call it an app or let's say a game, but anyways, this is what we are going to build in today's video. All right. So this right here is the game or app or whatever that you want to call that we are about to create in this video. So as soon as I open the app, I can find a pop up something like this and it says arrange the fruits in this order, pinch with thumb and index finger to grab and move icons. So I can click on the start game option. And now as soon as I open the game, this is going to be how it appears. And now as soon as the user opens the app and gives the necessary permission to access the camera, they can find a real time view of the camera. And now as soon as I introduce my palm into the camera, as you can see, we can find real time skeleton overlay and it also reacts to all these gestures as well. So what are gestures, everything that I make, it reacts. Okay. And now all you got to do is to arrange all these random icons that you see across the screen. You have to arrange it in this section right here and you can also find the target sequence or order here as well okay and you can find the status of this in here as well so right now i only have one hand it says one hand detected and as soon as i introduce two it says two hand detected and as soon as i pinch it says pinching oh yeah pinching here okay so what i have to do is i have to go ahead and arrange these icons in this area right here and a confetti effect will appear on the screen and we should be able to see that. So in the first position we have Apple and Apple is here. So I can go ahead and grab that by pinching and I'll place that in the box called as one and that's done. Next up, I need to grab the banana and put it in number two. And by the way, the number as you can see is kind of mirrored. So if you want to, you can fix that. Next up, grab the orange and put that in the third. Next up, we have the grapes. So I'll go ahead and grab the grapes and move it and place it in the fourth box and there you go it says you won and also we can find a confetti effect on the screen and this is exactly what we're going to build in today's video so let's quickly get started all right so here i have opened up lovable.dev and this is the ai coding tool that we'll be using in today's video but in your case if you're using a different vibe coding tool like let's say cursor windsurf tempo ai data button or any other you can go ahead and follow the exact same uh, steps so first of all i'll go ahead and give it a simple prompt something like this and it says build an app that tracks my hand and palm in real time and shows a skeleton overlay on top basically here is how it works when a user opens the app it will show a full screen preview of the webcam output and when the hands are introduced in front of the camera our app tracks them and adds a skeleton overlay and i also explicitly mentioned to use the media pipe hands library for tracking so this is the initial prompt i'll give and i'll go ahead and click on the send button all right so it says i'll create a real-time hand tracking app with skeleton overlay using media pipe hands and while that is being done let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video retriever ai retriever ai is a powerful ai agent built to retrieve structured data research across tabs and automate anything that can be done on the web from collecting insights to completing complex workflows just tell retriever ai and it gets it done whether you want to automate posting content to linkedin or let's say do some complex deep research or even scrape content retriever ai got you covered a new interesting retriever ai upgrade is that now you can go ahead and bring your own api key via google's ai studio and start using it for free right away so now as soon as you open retriever ai you will find a suggested prompt that says create and configure AI Studio API and all you gotta do is to simply click the same. Now Retriever itself will go ahead and open AI Studio, create a new project, generate an API key and copy the same and configure it in Retriever AI. And once done, you can go ahead and start interacting with Retriever AI for free. And now based on the latest benchmark results published by the team, Retriever tops the chart in overall performance and completes more tasks in less time. And to be precise, it's seven times more faster than the next leading alternative. And now I have already published a dedicated video explaining all about Retriever AI. And if you want to watch that, you can click the I button above or link in the description below. And finally, to check out the newest version of Retriever AI, click the first link in the description below. And now back to the video. All right, so the AI is done writing the code, but it seems like we have some error in here. So I'll go ahead and ask the AI to fix it. So try to fix it and let's wait. All right, so there you go. Now I can find a real time preview of my camera feed and maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. And now hopefully if I show my hands onto the screen, I can find a skeleton overlay and it works. And also towards the top left, I can see it says one hand detected. And if I show two, 
it's updated in real time so right now it says two hands detected and now i can flip my hands and the tracking is still there and i can make whatever gestures and everything pretty much works right so the hand tracking feature that we asked for is working and towards the top right it says red dot indicate hand landmarks and green lines are the hand skeleton okay so the basic hand tracking feature is now working and now when i pinch and move or oh yeah everything pretty much works right and next up let's just go ahead and spice it up and make this app a bit more interesting so what i want to do next is that i'll go ahead and ask the ai to sort of place some random icons randomly on the screen and then we should be able to pinch on those icons randomly and we should be able to drag and you know move it all around the screen and as soon as i lift it i want to place it there okay so that is basically the intended functionality so i'll quickly go ahead and give yet another uh, prompt in here so i'll go ahead and say can you modify the app such that we show some random icons all over the camera overlay and give the users the option to pinch and drag and drop to move icons around the canvas so this right here is the prompt i'll give so i'll go ahead and click on the send button and let's see all right so it says i've added interactive icons that float over the camera overlay but the thing is i don't really find any icons on the camera overlay and on top of that we also have a build error so let me quickly go ahead and try to fix it first all right so the error is gone but i still don't find any icons on the screen so let me go ahead and say i don't find any icons on the screen and hit enter let's see all right so now i can find some random icons scattered all across the screen so let me quickly go ahead and try to grab one of them okay so i'm trying to pinch and move them but they are not working so uh okay i mean oh it's really tough for me to kind of grab these icons but the thing is the feature is not working right i'm unable to pinch and you know sort of drag and move the icon and maybe we can also ask the ai to change the color of these icons so that they're a bit more visible so i'll go ahead and say I am unable to pinch and move the icons around and also give different colors to different icons in neon color so that it pops okay let's hit enter and let's see all right so now we have some nice neon colors to the icon and let me see if pinch and move functionality is working well I'm unable to drag and ah uh, okay oh ah uh, right so I guess the problem is that wait what the icons are randomly moving and I'm not sure how but I guess it has something to do with uh the camera being flipped I guess the left and writers are kind of uh, switched i believe so let me go ahead and ask the ai to fix it real quick all right so it seems like the error is fixed so let's go ahead and try to grab this icon from here oh yes now i'm able to drag and move these icons all around the screen okay it is kind of buggy at times but i mean it works right okay let me try to grab this place it up in here maybe this one in here all right i mean yeah well um, okay okay yeah it somehow works right i mean when i use two hands at the same time it is kind of buggy and but okay there are some random movements that are happening but in which ways hand tracking and also the option to move these icons around are indeed working right so i'll go ahead and tell the ai that it is kind of buggy and i want to fix that and also maybe let's say to change these icons with some random emojis instead so this is the prompt i'll give and it says the app is kind of buggy at times and the pinch and move feature is working but not accurate always and also can you replace the icons with some emojis so i'll go ahead and click send and let's see all right so there you go now all these icons are replaced with some random emojis and i'm able to pinch and move these icons around all right so it, it is still kind of buggy i would say yeah but in which ways it is kind of working right i mean when we overlap or let's say go through the same path of other emojis it kind of bugs out but it's okay it kind of works and all right so the basic feature is indeed working and yeah that's it 
and maybe I can go ahead and ask the AI to make it even better. So let's just go ahead and try to turn it into something like a game. So towards the top, there should be like icons arranged in a particular sequence and the icons should be randomly scattered across the screen. And now we should be able to pinch and, you know, move these icons and arrange it in the current sequence as the sample above. And now once we arrange all these icons in the same sequence, there should be something, let's say, like a confetti on the screen. Okay, basically like a simple game. So let me quickly go ahead and give a prompt and see if that works. So this is the prompt I'll give and it says, I want to turn this into a simple game. So towards the top, there should be a sequence of icons placed in a particular order. And the same set of icons should be randomly scattered across the screen as well. And now the users should be able to pinch and move and place the icons in the correct sequence to win. And when they do so, we want to show a confetti effect on the screen. And now let's just send this prompt and let's see if it works. All right, so there you go. This is how it looks for now. And I also find a build error. Maybe I'll try to fix it first and then we'll go ahead and try to continue playing the game and let's see. So seems like the pinch option to select the icons are not working. So let me quickly go ahead and try to fix it first. All right. So finally, after a bit of back and forth, here we have the working version of the game. And I had to abandon the old project and start working on a new one because the AI simply couldn't get it right. But this right here is the current version which is working. So as soon as you open the app, it will show a pop-up something like this. And you can go ahead and click on the start game option right here. And now as soon as the game starts, you'll be able to show your hands on the screen. And obviously the skeleton overlay appears. And this time around, I asked the AI to give different colors for the skeleton overlay. And towards the top right, you can find the target order. So this is the sequence in which we need to arrange these icons or emojis that you see on the screen. And you can also go ahead and find a status. Uh, yeah, here, okay, so the status. So two hands, one hand, open hand, close hand, pinching. So the status is updated in here as well. And towards the bottom, you can find all these boxes where we need to arrange these icons. And as soon as we complete it, a confetti effect should show up on the screen. So let's quickly go ahead and test it out. So as you can see, the numbers are kind of mirrored. So that is something that we need to fix. In which case, I'll go ahead and start grabbing all these icons and putting them in the correct order. So this right here is the Apple icon. And this should go in box number one. Then I should get the banana icon, number two, and then maybe let's say orange, number three, oops, seems like you need to move a bit slow, yeah. Next up, grapes, that goes in number four. There you go. It says you won and you arranged all the fruits correctly. And we also see a confetti effect on the screen as well. And right now these icons are kind of static. And also we only have like four boxes in here. But going forward, you can go ahead and modify the game such that each time the game starts, we need to see a different set of icons and maybe different types of icons and also change the number of, let's say, icon placeholders in the game as well. Okay, you have complete freedom and you can go ahead and change it whatever way you like to. So there you go. That's pretty much it. So the other day I got to learn about the media pipe hands library and I wanted to create something cool with that. And I thought maybe let's wipe code something cool. And here we are. We created a basic version of this game, which actually works confetti effect being able to pinch those icons and move it around and i'm pretty sure with the kind of coding knowledge that i have i simply wouldn't be able to create a game something like this whatever you want to call it game or app so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and also make sure to check out first link in the description below to install the updated version of retriever ai and also use it for free and now i'll see you next one